when Randy Bachman met his greatest guitar mentor. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. There's a new documentary, as we've been mentioning in this series, on Randy Bachman. It's just simply titled Bachman, looking back to his old days of growing up in Winnipeg, his old friends. Actually, Neil Young's on there, and he says that Randy was his greatest guitar mentor. But there was another guy who grew up in Winnipeg. Well, he moved to Winnipeg when Randy Bachman was a teenager, and he was a great mentor to Bachman. You know, you're the guy who introduced me to Lenny Bro's music. I heard you talk on TV one day about Lenny Bro, and I thought, you know, pardon my ignorance, who is this guy? And of course, he influenced a lot of guitarists, and he certainly Hundred, influenced Hundreds you. of guitarists. Yeah. You knew him when you were very, very young. Um, I played violin from six to ab- age of six to about 14, mm-hmm. and just got really bored. It was classical violin, and there was this night that changed everybody's life. Maybe yours, mine, Sammy Hager, lots of guys I know saw Elvis Presley on TV for the first time. This was in Winnipeg. Mm-hmm. What is that? It's rock and roll. What's that? It's a guitar. Who's that? It's Scotty Moore. I love what Scotty Moore's playing behind Elvis. And at the same time in Winnipeg, a band appeared. There was a country rockabilly band, and they were called the CKY, which is the radio station, The Caravan. And they would just go around town with the CKY banner and their remote trailer and play gigs all over town. And then Saturday mornings played a car lot, you know, and be selling yeah, cars. Yeah. And in the middle of the show, they'd stop playing and say, now we're going to take a break and let Junior play. And out of my little radio would come this most incredible guitar music. I thought Junior was a whole bunch of guys (laughs) playing guitar. But the lead singer of the band was Hal Lone Pine. Looked like Roy Rogers, you know, the fringe shirt and the white hat. And sang all Webb Pierce and Johnny Cash, Ray Price songs. And the the female singer was like Dale Evans. Her name was Betty Cody. And she sang the the Patsy Cline, Kitty Wells songs. And their son was called Hal Lone Pine Junior. So when they said, now we're going to take a break and let Junior play, they left the stage. Junior was one person. And I just stood there transfixed. Nobody else is watching him. They're all having their coffee and donuts. It's Saturday morning. I'm at the foot of the stage. Stage is about a foot high. Staring at his hands and seeing his fingers move and looking at who's playing the other guitar parts. Because I had played violin all my life and I could pick out a melody line. I could hear the melody line. I could hear boom, ding, 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 and all the Chad Atkins stuff. When it was all done, I said, I need to learn. I need to play like that. Not I want to. I need to play that way. Where do you live? I, I was magnetizing, sticking myself to this guy. And he said, well, we've been living in a motel. They just moved from Maine to Winnipeg. And he said, we just got a house. And he told me the address. I said, I have a girlfriend that lives across the street. Can I come to your house? He said, yeah, come anytime. I don't know anybody in town. He was 16 years old. I was 15. So I started to go every afternoon to his house. My school took a crash and burn thing for two years. I flunked grade 11, flunked grade 12. And those two years with Lenny Bro was the greatest years of my life. From those two years, I've had a lifetime and a career in Music, he taught me musical taste, how to play, what, when not to play, when to play. Introduced me to the two Chets, Chet Atkins and Chet Baker. Mm-hmm. Play like this guy and play like this guy, like the way Chet Baker trumpet phrases and the way he sang. And if you're going to sing, sing like this guy, like Chet Baker. I'd do a rock and roll gig with a guess who, and on the way home, I'd stop and see Lenny Bro playing with his solo or with his trio in the cellar or the stage door mm-hmm. or the swinging gate, one of those after-hour clubs in Winnipeg. And... He would just take us on journeys with his guitar playing. And it it was a really cool mood. Lenny Bro died in 1984. He drowned. There's always speculation on whether he was murdered or he did drown. He had a long history of substance abuse. By George, by Backman is the brand new album by Randy Backman. You can get information in the description of this website and on the documentary as well. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. And keep in mind, this is a 10 part series, five parts on this channel. And since Randy's a Canadian, five parts on our Canadian channel, Rock History Canada. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.